just uh, feel when the ball hit the finger, or do you try to catch fewer to keep the, keep the wear and tear off? Uh, a little bit of in between. You know, uh, some days when it's just sore, it's due to just a couple of catches. But at the same time, I mean, I'm, I'm preparing myself to go. So, I mean, by any means, I got to catch the ball. So, uh, whenever the ball comes, I'll do my best to try to catch it. Did the ball hit it funny, or did the defender's hand hit it? Uh, I couldn't even tell you. Beyond, it was so much of a bang bang play that I don't even know. It just happened. Have you ever had to play with a you know covering on your finger or anything like that uh, throughout your career? Uh, no. I mean, unfortunately, I ain't really have too many finger injuries. Uh, this is like the first, and uh, I just gotta kind of deal with it, you know, it's a little nagging, but I mean, at the end of the day, I can play, I can move my legs, you know, but yeah, I'll make it work. How tough was Sunday on a second play to have it happen? I mean, did you want to fight to come back? What was that kind of conversation? Yeah, it was, it was very tough, you know, because uh, we didn't know status of T, you know, and then we just had me and Chase, you know, and I went down, you know, I kind of felt like uh, I needed to stay out there, even if I had to be a decor or whatnot, but I mean, uh, we got great receivers in the room, which y'all see. You know, we got T.I., we got Trent, um, we got Stan. We got guys I can make up, you know, and um, they came out and they showed. Did you miss any games to injury before in seven seasons? Yeah, I, I, I sprained both of my MCLs uh, my second and third year. That was the only really injuries that I, I dealt with. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But that was about a week, too. I had one, one concussion as well. Yeah. That was week Yes, it did. That was that was my fourth year, I believe. So did you watch the game on, in the locker room on the back? What was kind of your... Uh, so yeah, I was trying to get my finger treated, and I was still watching the game, you know, and it was kind of like slow start for us. And um, But at the end of the day, we prepared well. Everybody prepares to play, and uh, you know, like I preach, we got we got Joe B, and he'll always make things work. But um, at the end of the day, I love to help my team in any way, you know, so either from her and could go, or... Uh, just be a decor, whatever the case may be. I always want to uh, be there for my team. Did you have to leave the stadium to get further treatment? Because it would seem like we would, I kept thinking we would see you back on the sideline, and we never did. Yeah, no, nah, I'll just stay in the back. Jamar was talking yesterday, TV, about how unselfish this wide receiver group is and how there are no egos. Why do you think that is? Because uh, I think we care for one another. I think we care more about being friends and brothers more than uh, trying to surpass each other in yardage and touchdowns and things like that, you know, because, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to get our opportunities. You know, we're going to make plays. We're going to get chances to score. We're going to get chances to get the yards after the catch, you know, but um, we don't kind of worry because as long as we're winning and we're all con contributing in, in any way, then, um, I mean, you can't, you can't be mad at each other. Even though there are no egos, being the most experienced receiver, one of the most experienced players on the team, how much of that leadership starts with you at that position? I think a lot, you know, because I've been through the the, the, the lowest, you know, and just seeing everything evolve, you know, I knew, um, like, at some point I would need more help. You know, we need maybe two, another star receiver, maybe three, you might need another tight end or just different different positions, you know, and um, just for me to see that, um kind of relaxing me so I don't add a lot of stress on myself because before T and Chase you know I kind of played all over the field kind of was uh brain farting a lot of times not knowing where to go because I'm, I'm moving around so much but now we can just stay in position and just call call plays just kind of more relaxed knowing that you know Joe could get us in any play to uh beat any coverage that's lined up against us and um just to, just just the revolution of everything I've been through kind of got me prepared for uh this moment what do you think about Chase being able to kind of hop all over the place? You know, he can, he can kind of go anywhere. Yeah, Chase, he's, he's a universal player. You know, he, he can kind of do it all. You know, but at the same time, it's still kind of a feeling of can he do it alone? Because not to say that he can't line up anywhere and win against any guy. It's just that he may draw a lot more coverage to him if it's just him out there. You know, he might try to take him away, double him every play or however the case may be. But I guess they got to respect all of us, you know, because like I said, T.I., you know, he became – a guy that you gotta watch, you gotta respect, you know. And then uh, uh, TT came in for me. He had that catch over the middle, took it 40, 30 yards. So I mean, it's football at the end of the day. Joe, Joe, Joe know where the reads are. You know, he know what the defense is trying to do to us. So I mean, if you want to take an extra player out on the back end to double chase, then we're gonna work our other one on ones with the guys that that's gonna step into play. Since you hadn't had an injury to your finger before, were you curious how it was gonna feel? Like, did you not? For sure, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I kind of took the first day. First couple of days just chill and don't really catch on things like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's gonna hurt. So I mean, just 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 take some 800s, ibuprofen, Tylenol, whatever the case may be. Let's get it padding up. 
He's got to go. Got to deal with it. Is Did that, it break? Is, is that what it is? It's just going to come down to seeing how much pain you can tolerate. Or? Uh, pretty much. But I mean, at the end of the day, football is pain. You're going to get hit. You know, you're going to wake up the next morning sore anyway. So I mean, you able to catch it? I mean, yeah. Zach, Zach I mean, it hurt it. a little bit, but. I mean, I'll be good. Zach said they had to flush it out. Did it break through the skin, or was it? Yeah, it broke through the skin. So it so, wasn't like a typical. Wasn't no, it wasn't just a finger bent. The, whole, the, the bone kind of came out. But the good thing about it, it was no torn ligaments, nothing. Just dislocated. That was it. Just put it back in, stitch up, just ready to go. Did you know it was that way immediately? I mean, you talk about that like it was real casual, but what's that? Is that the first time something like that's happened? Say that one more time. I see you talk about it like it's casual. The bone's just sticking out. But I mean, it sounds like. It was, I mean, what was that like when you saw it? You're like, all right. Oh, yeah, I kind of kind of went in shock, you know, because like I said, I never really had any major injuries, you know, thank God, and let alone a C, being able to see a bone, you know, so it kind of kind of threw me off, you know, but at the same time, my adrenaline was pumping, so it wasn't really hurting or phasing me, you know, I just, I'll, the only thing I was worried about was just making sure I get back out there to help my guys, you know, that Chase was out there alone, but I mean, Every player wants, wants, wants to go out there and help their team. But, I mean, I got to get treated and make sure I'm healthy before I can, you know, uh, do much more with the injury. So, First time you ever seen your bone? <laughs> I mean, I've seen, uh, I've seen other guys, uh, dislocated fingers. I've seen bones before, but not quite frankly, you know, definitely not with myself. Yeah. And you said that y'all could reach another level as an offense. What, what do you feel like that level could be as y'all get to the last four weeks of the year? Uh, just basically uh, scoring on every single drive. You know, I think yet we have a game that where we didn't punt. I think we only punted one time against the Chiefs, matter of fact. And we're just trying to get to the point where we score points every single drive, take advantage of our opportunities. You know, it might, might be some games where uh, the other team might run the ball a lot, which we only may get for uh, opportunities, drives per, per the half, like Tennessee. I think we only had four drives, you know, but we just got to take more advantage of every single drive and just rally up points the best way we can. It's the first time you guys have won five in a row since you've been here. People always talk about momentum, success brings success, all of that. What's different when you're on a streak like this? Oh, you know, um, it's a good question because, you know, it was our first really long streak, you know. The only thing I can say is I think we had our best towards the end of the year. You know, the December and January, I think that's when guys evolve and just get in every guy's mentality that we got to be our best, you know, because it matters now. You know, we can't slip up and let uh, games get away from us when we know we should win them. You know, the games that's must wins and games that we know we got to come in prepared to score every drive, then we all got to be dialed in. How many of you guys are going to be watching Browns, Ravens on the flight down? Uh, we're going to be locked in for sure watching that. You know, we hoping to get uh, the Browns win. But um, at the end of the day, we still got to see them at the end of the year, you know. So um, we're just taking it day by day, and we got to beat the Bucks. So what's it like being on a streak? You get the sense of, like, you know, the point, you know, you get on a kind of a roll where you think that, you know, this is going to work out or, you know, what, what's, what's it feel? What, what does momentum feel like? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, every guy in this locker room knows that we're a very talented and a very good football team. You know, we don't even really worry about the streak at this point. You know, we just more concerned of how we can move on and um, out scheme and out out coach the, the other opponents that we got to follow up with next week. You know, and like I said, every game from here on out is a must win. We got to win it because. Um, I mean, it, it, these next two teams, all these teams, is playoff teams, and we're all trying to uh, figure out a place in the playoffs, you know, trying to get placed in the right spot, you know, to where we can get home from advantage, you know, and that's what we want to do. And to do that, we got to win out. So, I mean, it's not really much of the streak at this point. It's just getting these wins. So we're placed in the best place that we can be once the playoffs come. Shouldn't we get a home game, huh? 